Hi, it's John here from the Professional Nail School and Beauty Academy. Today I'm just going to look at um, infills. Now here you can see um, a nail that has grown out. It's probably about three, four weeks growth on this acrylic nail with the gel polish on top. So what we're going to do now is to actually look about doing the infill. So with my um, carbide bit on my electric file, I'm going to switch it on. And I'm going to file off this gel polish back to the acrylic underneath. So you can see I'm working on myself here, so you know, it's a lot easier on a real person, of course. So you're just going to drill off the polish. It comes off quite easy. Look around the back. Now obviously because you're not right up against the cuticle, it's quite safe to drill it away without much worry about, you know, hurting your client. Now, because I'm doing this on myself, I'm actually going to reverse the the turn of the electric file. So, always switch it off first, do the reverse, and then switch it back on, and then you'll be able to file that way. When you're working on somebody else, you can more or less leave it on the same forward setting all the time. So just drill off. Get right into the edges. And you may have to just finish with a hand file to get rid of those little bits. So now I'm gonna switch it off again reverse it back to the forward and then I'll be able to just have a look. Right, you can pull the skin away like this so you can get right into those edges. Just pull the skin away and get right into those edges. And that's where you can use your hand file if you need to. Right, so what you'll see here is that you've got a little bit of a ridge where the actual um, acrylic has moved forward from the cuticle. You should also try and keep it thin on by the cuticle so you haven't got too much infill line to get rid of. So I'm just going to get rid of this infill line now just by blending it down but keeping my, my file quite flat on the nail, on the acrylic because I don't want to damage the client's natural nail. So I've got to be quite careful as I'm doing this. So I'm not filing into my client's nail. So I've blended down the infill line. Pretty much there now. If there was a bit of lifting, then say there's a bit of lift in here, just work on that section, get it really thin, and then just flick it off. So now I've bended that down, got all the gel polish off, a bit there. Next thing I'm going to do is the actual cuticle. So I'm going to get my cuticle pusher here, which has got this round end on it, as you can see. 
and I'm going to push back on the cuticle like so. Now when you're doing nails, uh, either from scratch or in fills, the most important thing is the nail prep on the natural nail. It's very important. So you can see where the cuticle was before. You can see that skin growth on here. We're going to get rid of that. So once I've loosened it and pushed it back, Gosh, it's so difficult working on yourself. I'm going to pull that forward now so I can see it. Then I'm going to get my cuticle nippers and I'm going to cut into that dead skin without cutting the skin behind because that's where your... Um, blood is flowing and you don't want to cut into that so now i'm going to get my diamond bit that's a diamond bit as opposed to a carbide bit i'm going to switch it on but i'm going to slow it down and then i'm going to just go around keeping it nice up against the cuticle and just get work it round to get rid of those bits of skin growing on the nail plate there, which is right up close. And again, if you want to go that way, you'll need to reverse your machine, but always switch it off first. Now I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to put on my sanding band. Now I use a fine sanding band here and I like the ones with this chalky look to them. Switch it back on. I'm going to have it between one and two on this machine and then I'm just going to go around here and all I'm doing is just prepping this nail without doing any damage to it because I'm running this machine very, very slow. And that's important. So you can see now that I've done the prep there. And what I need to do now is to dehydrate the nail plate and put my primer on then apply my acrylic so let's do that now so i've got some nail dehydrator here and this is going to dehydrate the new nail growth and this is a chemical called isopropyl so let's get this now and it's useful to have it in a little bottle when you're doing infills so now I can just run that round the back there like that. See that? And then I'm going to apply my primer. Now I'm using Ultra Acid Bond, which is from CJP. I prefer the acid primers. So again, I'm just going to put this all around the back area. You don't need to flood it. Okay, and you do that on all your nails, obviously. Then I normally just go along with another coat and just put a thin layer onto the nail. The next stage is to actually do your acrylic. Right, so we're ready to put the acrylic on. Now, we're obviously only just filling in the back area because an infill it's called an infill because you're basically filling in this back area here. The client may also ask you at some point to shorten the nails or just to reshape a little bit. So let's just take this, pick up some acrylic, here we go. So I'm just going to just fill in this back area. Keep the finger down slightly so it doesn't run up to the cuticle and just fill in the back area and 
might just to look at my arch, make sure we've got a nice arch there. And this is called polymerization, where the acrylic is actually setting, but it goes into this ball. So it just means that when you brush it out, it'll leave it thicker in that area. So I just picked up a tiny bit here. Just gonna pop it there. Keep the finger pointing down. Just make sure there's no build-up in the edges. And that's our infill. Done. So all we've got to do now is to just wait for that to dry and then we can, we can um, file it out to a perfect finish. Then reapply our gel polish. Right, so it's now ready um, to file. And to make sure, if you hit them with a wooden stick, you should get a very loud, sharp click. Now that will obviously never be an issue if you're doing a full set. But if you are just doing a one nail repair, then that would be important to check that before you file it. So, I'm just going to go up the sides like this, up this side, tidy it up, check the end is where you want it to be, just come down the sides like this into the side walls. If you watch my video on, on uh, using a hand file, you'll see all these techniques, because it is quite important to know how to use a hand file. You may want to use your electric file. You need to bring the speed up. And then if you've left a bit of a ridge around the back, you can tuck that in like that to flatten that off. I usually then come down the nail in forward pull motions only, not backwards and forwards. Just come down the nail gets a little bit difficult working on yourself. I don't know how you girls do it when you do a full set of nails on yourself. I've no idea how you do it. So I'm just going to smooth that over. You shouldn't really have to do a lot of filing to be honest. Uh, now I'm just going to file it, finish off with my hand file. Just to get that really nice smooth finish coming down to this side go across like this and I'm looking for any kind of dark and darker areas on the surface because that's going to tell me that it's not quite flat Now I'm going to get my block, don't go like this, keep the block in contact with the nail and go backwards and forwards like this. Go around the nail, be careful when you get um, up by the cuticle, use your corners like this into the corners. Just take any sharpness off from underneath. And then it should be finished. This is a 100 grit block, this is. So when I've finished all my filing, what I do then is I get a bit of acetone, just wipe over the nail. That will just give it a better smoother finish then I get some alcohol and I go over the nail to wet it so that it looks like it's got a top coat on and when I wet it like this it means that I can look for any blemishes or marks in that nail surface flat spots etc if there was then I just have to do a little bit more filing
Right, so all I've got to do now is just reapply my um, polish and you just need a base coat, colour coat and a top coat. So after you've put your cuticle oil on, just rub it round and don't um, try to keep it in shot, rub it round, don't rub it over the top of there and there's your nail done as good as new. And you want to book your clients in on three week appointments for acrylic. So I hope that was helpful and if you've got any queries uh, just inbox me and you probably know by now that we run courses six days a week. Have a look at our website the nailschool.co.uk and you'll see all our courses listed there. So it's bye for now from John. Bye.